member from Bruce Gray, Owen Sound. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. This morning, I tabled a resolution that calls on you to reverse your decision on the closure of the Owen Sound, Walkerton, and Sarnia jails. Your predecessor promised, but then backtracked on his word to disclose the costing documents to justify the closure of the jails. He also backtracked on his promise to consult with the local communities before taking any action. As a newly appointed minister and the one now in charge, will you do the right thing and stop the closures? Pending a full Pending a full public review of the decision and begin consultations with local stakeholder groups that would be adversely affected by these closures. Minister. First of all, uh, let me congratulate the member for his uh, election, and uh, I uh, want also to, uh, to thank him for the interest uh, that he brings forward uh, today. Uh, we are uh, working to address in the correctional services system further future capacity and infrastructure need. We are consolidating and expanding the system, building modern, economical new jail while closing inefficient older facility. So we recognize that change is difficult and we have to make some tough decisions to make sure that our province remain a strong, on strong financial footing, able to protect health care and education. Our goal is to ensure that Ontario has an efficient and effective correctional infrastructure and that capacity to keep Ontario's community safe and to ensure those yes, in our custody are held in safe, secure, and human condition. Thank you. Supplementary. Member from here on Bruce. Minister, this is not just an issue of jail closures. It's about your government ignoring rural Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. It's an issue of <laughs> it's an issue of increased job losses and economic instability in rural Ontario. Your ministry has not consulted with a single local community stakeholder group regarding the pending closure. Further to that, further to that, the Auditor General in 2008 predicted that this year there would be a shortfall of 2,000 jail beds. You know, your ministry knows, Walkerton Jail has been over capacity for weeks and months on end. To follow up on the correspondence I have sent to you prior to today, Minister, I respectfully ask again, and again, I respectfully ask, will you commit today to postponing the closure of Walkerton, Owen Sound, and Sardinia Jails? until you have completed the promised Thank community you, stakeholder Minister. consultations and release the cost-benefit analysis. So first of all, let me congratulate the member for our election. And my answer will be short, no. I will not commit to it. And you know what? I heard your leader asking, you know, for us to save money, and you're standing up and your colleague and asking to spend more money. These jails are inefficient, and and the jail in Walkerton was built prior to Confederation in 1866. Wow! Not surprisingly, this facility is not is no longer capable of Order, meeting please. the needs of Ontario's correctional system. We are building two new large jails, the one in Toronto, the one in Windsor, and we will add to the capacity of beds that we need. And uh, no, we're not going to postpone the closure Answer. of these two jails. Thank you.